So this shouldn't come to a shock to anybody, and that is Daredevil Born Again. And in the Penguin series is paused indefinitely. They're saying that Daredevil will not even come out to 2025 at this point. I don't know how many people really still care. I mean, really, to be honest with you, I think the more of these Disney Plus series that they cut, I think it's for the better. Like, Agnetha, just get rid of it. Echo, just get rid of it. Spend more time on Daredevil. I, I, I'm a fan of Daredevil. I'm a fan of Daredevil comics, the movies, the Netflix series. So I like Daredevil. I want to see more Daredevil. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of faith in Disney+. Plus. Like, I don't have a faith in what's going on with Disney at this current time. Like, I just don't have faith in it. Um, I, I'm really burnt out on all their stuff. I'm enjoying Ahsoka. I know a lot of people are really bashing the numbers for Ahsoka. Like, oh, the viewership is so low or whatnot. But let's just play it out see how it is. Just because the viewership is low doesn't talk... That, that doesn't reflect the quality of the show which there's only been three episodes i've enjoyed all three episodes so let's see where that goes but there's been plenty of times and i know why people feel this way there's been plenty of times where the first three to four episodes are good and then it goes downhill unless it's she hulk that i mean that just went downhill from the very first like episode five minutes in that that show went downhill so we're looking at daredevil it's being delayed penguins being delayed a lot of stuff is going to be delayed it's going to feel like COVID all over again with the whole writers and actors strike, and now we're talking about the, the CGI companies possibly going on strike too. It's going to feel like COVID again, where we're not going to get a lot of mo new movies in theaters, not a lot of new stuff on, on our streaming services. But when it comes to like, like I got to be honest with you, I'm thinking about canceling Disney Plus after Ahsoka. I just don't care about like, like Disney Plus is so expensive right now. And I'm really pissed off at Disney anyway because they went ahead and took. ESPN and ABC off the spectrum like I like ESPN you know most men like ESPN how are you gonna take ESPN off a major cable company like like people pay cable to watch like like you're taking ESPN off that so I'm pissed off at Disney right now anyway because of their antics. Why should the consumer have to suffer because Disney don't have their shit together? I don't know why they took it off Spectrum. I don't know the details. I'm not going to claim to know the details. But what I do know is that their shows are being delayed. Disney is, is hemorrhaging money right now. Their, their, their parks aren't making as much money as they used to. Disney Plus is losing subscribers. Their movies aren't making as much money as they used to. A lot of them financially flopped. You have the whole mess with Rachel Ziegler and the whole woke-ass Snow White movie that's supposed to become like you need to just cut that movie. Well, like she's trying to backpedal now, she's just making things even worse. Like, you like it's not good for Disney. Like, I don't know how many red flags people need to see. They're like, shit's not good, shit's not good. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Shit's not good. Like, I, like, what do you guys like? How much more proof do you need? Like, financially, their movies have been flopping. I, I mean, you have the exception with like Guardians of the Galaxy, but then you look like, like Ant Man didn't do financially well captain marvel i don't think it's gonna do like like the marvels that is coming out i don't think it's gonna do financially well so we we have all these problems going on they're losing subscribers the parks are still packed but their park isn't as packed as it used to be they're, they're fighting with florida over certain things they're fighting with cable companies over certain things and they it, it's, it's shit's not good okay Shit is not good for Disney, and the consumers are the ones suffering. If you own Spectrum, like, like in, in our neighborhood, Spectrum is the only cable company in our central in, in Central Florida. Spectrum is the only cable company. So unless you want to go with DirecTV, you're fucked. No ESPN for you. No first take. Shannon Sharp just got on first take, and we can't even watch it because Disney wants to pull some shenanigans bullshit with Spectrum, and then we all have to get fucked over in the end. Now I got to go watch Undisputed. With <laughs> it's ridiculous with Keyshawn Johnson and Marshawn Lynch and Skip Bayless and yeah, what it's it's crazy. It's crazy right now. Disney's lost a damn mind. I don't know what's going on, but at the end of the day, this isn't a big news to me. I do not care. I think they just need to go through and just like they really Marvel needs to go back to being very very picky with the the quality of content that they put out, right? Give us three to four movies, make them good movies. Not even three to four is too fucking much. Give us two to three movies a year, make them good, bring the damn X-Men in, bring, stop, stop rubbing your fucking feet across the ground with Fantastic Four, 
make Fantastic Four and focus on that because you're never going to get over the hump of Iron Man and Captain America being gone until you introduce characters like fucking Wolverine and Cyclops and Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm. When we think Marvel, we don't think Shang-Chi or, or the fucking Eternals, okay? We don't, we don't care. Give us the fucking superhero comics that we care about. And if that, if that offends somebody, well, fuck you. I don't care. It's, it's the truth. Like, the numbers don't lie. Look at the numbers. They're going down. People do not care because we want superheroes that we can connect with, that we have read from the comics from back in the 60s and 70s. We want X-Men, Fantastic Four. You don't have Captain America. You don't have Tony Stark. What do you do? You need to get more established characters in there. Okay? You can't rely on these bullshit characters that nobody knows about. Shang-Chi didn't even have a fucking sequel yet. Demon, like you introduced this character like four years ago, and you still haven't given him a sequel yet. So why should we invest our time in these characters if, if Disney's not investing time in these characters? And this is going on a whole other rant besides me and and Daredevil Born Again not being, um, you know, being delayed or whatnot. But there's a there's a big problem with Disney right now that a lot of people are turning a blind eye to that they're not sitting there and they're not connecting these dots on why these properties are failing. And it's more it's more than just because they don't have the characters and they're spread too thin and Kevin Feige is this and this and this. There's so much more why Disney is failing these characters. And and there's there's superhero fatigue, there's lack of interest with the characters, the, the characters have like social politics. Every time you go see a movie, they're throwing shit in your face. You have so many different reasons, underlying reasons why people are losing interest in these characters. And I think Kevin Feige and Disney need to take a step back. First thing they need to do is turn ESPN back on on Spectrum, all right, so I can watch first take. And then they need, Kevin Feige needs to take a step back, and then, okay, let's get on with the X-Men and Fantastic Four. We can't keep bullshitting around with these with these Z-level characters. They're not even A, B, or C, D characters. Like These are like W, X, Y, Z-level characters. No one gives a shit about Shang-Chi, okay? And I don't care if the movie's good, and I actually give it a very, a very good review. No one cares about these characters. We want the Captain Americas, the Iron Mans, the x men Wolverine, like Fantastic Four. That's what we want. Give it to us. It is what it is. That's just my thoughts on it. But I want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments in the comment box below. I'm pretty sure the comments section is not going to be toxic whatsoever. But, hey, that's life. Until next time, guys, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and I'm tired of this bullshit. Give us good shit. Bye.